Now, I know this isn't much for my Tuesday upload, but I needed something and I was in a rush to like, I was searching for so many videos on my camera roll. Like I couldn't find anything that was prepared. And I know I'm supposed to prepare videos myself, but I was gonna upload episode nine of Piggy, but then I realized um, the recording got messed up and all that, like it got screwed up. And also I just couldn't beat City at all when playing it. So, I mean, I know I do a lot of levels that I can't play, but like I wanna be able to beat these last few levels with you guys as well. Um, also, this chapter, chapter 12, I've been doing so well, and I'm going to n not spoil the ending. I'm gonna hold it back and keep it a secret. I tried to do that with this sort of memory and chapter 11. Chapter 11, I just spoiled off the bat, but the story memory, I just thought it was too hard, so I watched it, but chapter 12, no. I'm not going to watch a singular video, not even Flamingo, and I love his channel, I'm not, e I can't even watch his videos on it, not Creepcraft, not Dennis, not Danty, not Think Noodles, not anyone, just myself right now, but I want to share a fact, do you see this little mm -hmm. hazel streak, that is not complete heterochromia, but central heterochromia. There's a difference. Complete heterochromia means your entire eye is a different color. Central heterochromia is when you have a small little strike of a different color, hazel or brown. As you can see, I think I have hazel. It looks hazel. Um, so I have central heterochromia. I did not pick this up just like through like any syndromes or anything. I was born with it, so it's not bad. If you're born with it, it's not bad, but if you get it just randomly in your life, it is bad. <laughs> it means you have an injury in your eye, or a lot of syndromes carry, like, can cause heterochromia, not carry, just cause it. A lot of them do. I, I looked it up, because it's actually very interesting, but um, it's just a genetic mutation, but not a bad one, and it's one in every thousand people have it, so it's not something you'd, like, I mean, sure there's quite a, a lot of people that have it, but it's not, definitely not something you'd see every day, and especially not in the small area that I live in. I'm in a pretty sparsely populated area, if you ask me, so. Not the fact that it's, like, really cold or anything, it's just that that place is kind of like, no one knows about it. So, yeah. Um, Friday, I mean, Thursday's upload, sorry, I have two schedules, it's hard. Um, Thursday's upload, it's most likely going to be chapter 9 of Piggy, or the Niagara Falls video that I was going to upload last year. It's just that I couldn't get the time to get all the videos put together, because I also have to retrieve so I'm recording, sorry, I'm gonna... I also have to retrieve some videos from my dad's phone. Because, like, my phone started running out of storage, and I wanted enough storage to at least record, like, the takeoff of the plane coming back, and also to record a bit of the Ottawa trip. The most I recorded of my Ottawa trip was just a, maybe, like, one or two pictures, possibly a video or two. I'll try to find as much as I can and put it at the end of the Ottawa video, but it is an eight-minute time lapse of us driving all the way. <laughs> Not to Ottawa, but, well, I guess you could say that. It's in the, you know, in Ontario, there's this really cool thing. So there's Constance Bay on one side, like Arn Pryor on the other, and Ottawa. They're in a triangle. They're all 15 minutes away from each other. So, like, it's really convenient. If you want to go to Ottawa, pick something up there, boom, drive 15 minutes. If you need to, like, I don't know, maybe get, like, a car fix or something, I don't know if they have those in an Empire, because that's a city, they might, they probably do, but like, you know, drive to Empire, and then, and then once you're ready to go back home, drive 15 minutes to Constance Bay, it's convenient, because you have a ginormous city, 
but also a convenient small city at the same time. It's perfect. That's why I really want to live in Constance Bay when I'm older. Because I got two cities right beside me. But then also a very calm and relaxing town. Also, I'm, I'd am i be, if I lived in Constance Bay, I'd be right beside the Ottawa River. I did go pontoon boating on it. I don't regret it. And then I took a ferry to Quebec because, you know, like, I was right at the border to Quebec. Then I went to Wakefield in Quebec, and that was so beautiful. I wish I could rec could have recorded there and got in pictures. I hope my parents did at least a little bit, because I would love to share that with you guys. But yes, I did not forget about the Ontario uploads. I've just been trying to scrap up all the stuff, and I also need to get the plane footage, and possibly footage from Wakefield and Constance Bay for my parents. And then... I will upload them. So yeah. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye.